this dickhead? You. Surprise. <laughs> Kelly just announced Paige Laundry, but I believe her name is actually Paige Laundry. I know Taylor. All right. Taylor and I uh, train in the same neck of the woods. Same neck of the woods, which is anything east of here. West, I mean, west, west of here. West, west Michigan's here. <laughs> no, we're training in uh, Lake Erie right. over there. This should be a fun one. I don't think these two have ever went up against each other. So. I, uh, I'm familiar with uh, Taylor, not very familiar with Paige. So Paige trains at Commonwealth here. Um, it's La Livonia, I believe it is, Farmington area. Taylor out of uh, Grand Rapids, Temple Planet. Uh, both blue belts, about the same age. Uh, we got Paige at 29, Taylor 27. A lot of good wrestling, good uh, tie-ups right now, yep. Only 30 seconds in, they're really feeling each other out. Taylor had great wrestling in her last match on the last card. Yeah, Taylor looked really good on that last Taylor's card. Really tough up. match. Taylor's done it very sharp. Oh, Paige went after the leg there. Taylor's ready for it. It says uh, here Paige has been training two and a half years. Taylor. Two years for Taylor. Perfect. Almost, almost two years, sorry. Uh, Paige's favorite submissions in Oma Plata. So Very she's good. on the ground yeah, here. Let's Taylor. see if she can work in Oma Plata. It says here Taylor's favorite submission is the arm bar. Um, I've seen her hit it from the side control. I've seen her hit it from the bottom. So let's we'll see if she can make that work. Something interesting about Taylor is she owns a flower shop. I have seen some of the photos on Instagram. Taylor clears the leg entanglement, and we're going to reset. <laughs> they reset, and Paige's open guard. About halfway through the match here, there's still not a ton of action, but it was a good takedown by Taylor, and she is working now at least. Let's see what we can get in the second half here. So Taylor pulled with a leg of her own. Straight ankle. Straight ankle looks like. Might not be tight. She's got to have tighter posts on that hip. But she might be able to make something up. Now she's on the double outside. Bellying down on it. She might be after something now. There we go. There we go. Straight off the Taylor Paul. 
That was nice belly down so you finished it there. Nice. Next up, we've got Jessica Wells and Sasha the Shark Reynolds. Uh, Jessica representing Great Lakes here. Sasha representing Adamas down in Toledo. Sasha, a 16-year-old blue belt out of Adamas, has been training 10 years, uh, in parentheses, estimated, so we don't even know. Uh, Jessica's been training about 10 years as well, however, she's about twice Sasha's age here, so we'll see how this goes for her. Right off the bat, Sasha, Sasha pulls has, guard, she wants to get right into action. Sasha has made an uh, intense boom on the competition scene in the Midwest. Yeah, she's all over everywhere. She told me uh, recently, all summer while she was off school, she trained three times a day. She's training with Max Hansen, Dante Leon, Brad Schneider three times a day. She's she's gonna be tough. Absolutely. She's getting smashed a little bit right now, but she's still got a good uh, good half guard. First time I saw Sasha was on Saturday night. Uh, she went pretty viral for a video at Fuji. Yeah, she's, against, she's had a couple uh, of them. <laughs> going against a very aggressive opponent. Had a little bit to say after she got submitted. It looks like she's working something from deep half here. Jessica might be in some trouble. Got she got the leg under it. Jessica didn't fill out much of her sheet here, so we don't have much to say about her. Sasha's <laughs> favorite submission here is a Kimura. I'm just going to make up things about Jessica and <laughs> say that she loves any submission she can finish. Jessica she doesn't have a favorite. Sasha is backstabbing. <laughs> I don't know. Sasha is attacking right. the leg herself. Yeah, Looks like she position. might be going after a heel hook, but Sasha Jessica defends pretty well. Sasha has a toehold grip on that inside leg. So we are both locked up in 50-50 now. This year, Sasha won silver at the... Pans and kids pans and bronze at worlds. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's no gi or gi, but I'm gonna guess it's no gi. I also would like to guess trains it. Anonymous. <laughs> so you're competing the gi too. So. She's got an inside heel hook grip. Ooh, she had a good grip it. on it, but she fell right out. Jessica defended pretty well with the smash. We're getting pretty close to the edge of the mat here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a reset. Sasha has this 50-50 position locked to her right now. Halfway through the match. Jessica's coming down with the press. It's hard to pressure into somebody when they got your leg prepped up. Yeah. So we'll see how she weathers that storm. Nope. Back to a more traditional 50-50. Off the edge. No, she's going after a submission. The ref's going to let him keep going. Absolutely. Set. A lot of action from the guard to these two competitors. Rep ops to start from neutral. Sasha unsurprisingly sits. The guard is very developed, very strong. Shin on shin. 
Sasha comes up on the top. It can still turn into a scramble here. Sasha does a pretty good passing, pretty good job passing on that Sasha one. Sasha passes the guard. Just over a minute left, so she doesn't have long. Back into the leg entanglement. Back on that inside heel. Looks like it's her slipped again. Oh, Sasha's rolling in. Oh, she's got saddle in there pretty good. False reap. Absolutely. And on an attack. Oh, she might have it here. We might have the tap here. There it is. She moves on to the next round with Taylor, yeah. Uh, yeah, she'll get to the We'll have Sasha the Shark and Taylor in the second round. We'll have uh, Jessica versus Paige in the loser's bracket. Jessica versus Paige in the consolations. Uh, either of those can still win double elimination tonight. As David Williker did at our last event, yeah? Yeah, he took out a teammate in, in the final. That was awesome. Submission is he trying? We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of, here out here. to the border here. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the Adamas crew. Max Hansen comes and takes everybody's belts from him. Yep. Circle, circle. Circle out. Uh, you know, any of the trains there is going to be tough, so it's going to be fun. And then Emily here, uh, her and her husband recently opened their own gym, the John Toad uh, Plymouth Can Grappling Academy. It's an uh, awesome gym. Do you frequent that gym, yeah? I do a lot of time. It's really close to home. It's fun. Definitely. Uh, really nice coaching. It's a DJJ affiliate. Oh, absolutely. Those are, are going to be some tough, some tough competitors. So, uh, we've got a cold plunge sauna. It's nice. Amenities like that are always Must nice. Be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> but the, that's what happens when you're in the Plymouth Camp hey, I've area. Got, I've got a, we've got, we got two bedrooms and a shower at my gym. So. we got a shower. That's we a got nice a shower, thing. man. We, de we definitely don't have showers here. I'd be surprised to see anybody use it other than myself and a couple of coaches. <laughs> Both competitors still on the feet, heavy, heavy collar ties and wrestling. I haven't seen anything especially aggressive from either competitor. They've been pretty even as far as uh, aggression and attempts at take place. No, Emily, as I say that, Emily looks for a uh, slide by. <laughs> now, Emily's visibly uh, a lot bigger than me. She's been training significantly longer. She's uh, seven years under her belt, while Emily just got two years here. Just got her own belt. Another thing about uh, Vila is uh, she 
Uh, recently won IBJJF Milky Purple Belt Bronze. I'm not sure what event. She just has IBJJF Purple Bronze. But uh, to compete at Purple Belt in the IBJJF is a tough task in itself. I like on Emily's sheet here, it says, what's your favorite submission? Armbar, dot, 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 maybe, <laughs> LOL. So, sounds like she's not sure, but that's the first one that popped into her head. So, I like that. compete today, uh, I put down on my paper that my favorite submission is Omaquata. I've never landed on Omaquata. He wasn't supposed to tell me that yet. It was supposed to be a surprise. Whatever. What are you going to do? Talk about me alone up here? <laughs> Uh, it says here on Emily's sheet, she's a United States Strongman National Silver Medalist. And, uh, impressive. Yeah, super impressive. Uh, something interesting about Bila here, she grew up in Pakistan and Puerto Rico. Uh, she's repping the Puerto Rican flag on her rash guard, right sleeve. Nice, nice. Drive that in there. Drive that in there. Get your head off. Be hanging off your head. Sure. It's definitely on a sleeve. Right, guard open. I'm seeing a really aggressive guard and Bila pulls to the legs. Uh, not surprising coming from Adamas. Max Hansen, one of the better leg lockers in the country right now. Looks like uh, she's pretty close. She might be able to get a bite on that heel. Go belly down and arch. Coaches are telling for a going down ankle lock. Get your elbow back. See our shoulder back. Down ankle lock of the day. Let's go. Nice. Hips in. Hips in. Oh, looks like Emily outside saved herself. Got her outside leg in. Deep looks like Emily's cleared the knee line for the most part. Yeah. 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 Where? Well. Pull my legs back in. Hey, you're on top now. Let's work your game. Don't let her stand up. Just under two minutes left in the match, and I uh, haven't seen a ton of action, but Emily's playing a really nice aggressive. Nice pass. Clear the legs. Clear the legs. Yeah, looks to pass. Situation from any call it. Uh, I just call it. I just call it not good. I call it. I call it. Rip the Kimura position. <laughs> the head triangle. Yeah. Little leg scissors, but uh, Emily, Emily capitalizes and comes up on. It was top. tough. Used her size there to her advantage and capitalized on it. We got just over a minute left, and it's still anyone's game here easily. Definitely. Uh, overtime rules on the brackets? No overtime. No overtime. Just rest decision after this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not judging tonight, but I think so far I would give it to Bila based on the I would give it to Bila based on her aggression on the sub attempts. However, Emily's been on top. Yeah, she is crushing right now. That can make up a lot. I'm just to pry in some crazy pressure. We got 30 seconds left. Looks like Emily's looking for uh, an arm triangle. She so lost the arm. the arm, but she had a decent attempt to go in there for a second. Come on. Let's go for a submission here. Bila looking to be a little more active in the last seconds of this match. Looking for maybe butterfly guard. Arm lock. Arm lock. 15 seconds. Wow. Let's see if that gets the finish. 10 seconds left in this match, and it looks like Emily's got a decent defense on it. See if Bila can finish this. Looks like Emily clears it. Bila lacing into a leg lock. Beautiful stand up on the match there. Really match to the match decision.
think we got our first judge's decision here. Nickelodeon slime yesterday. Nickelodeon gap. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza and cheesecake. So. <laughs> pizza and cheesecake. Pizza and cheesecake. She's over there. I'll go yelling. <laughs> to 
that guard. These two competitors have been nothing but gas today. They've, they've just been going. under two minutes left here in this match. So far, uh, no real submission attempts. However, they have been going full speed. Angel looking to get on the leg one more time. Locking up a little unorthodox arm bar kind of setup. Scoops that leg, maybe looking to invert. I know how hard it is to convert um, competitors larger than you. <laughs> Doesn't always go so well. I don't know. Angela find, comes up on top. I find inverting easy. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Angela in the back. Whoa. May you utilize her favorite submission to remake a chill here. About 45 seconds left to work. Uh, she's in a really good spot, too. She's got both hooks in, she's got a seatbelt. Lauren did a great job hand fighting in the closing minute of our match. Very important that Angela attempts a sub here. Uh, possibly take the rest decision. 20 seconds left, she's got to do a little bit more work I think so far. Yeah, that was a good match. It was, uh, it was a tough one. They stayed real active the whole time. Yeah, both of them. They were, they were just I trying think, to move, uh, move, move. I, think was, I don't know what was the submission at time. I mean, she was going after she, the rear She had the, the, she had the back. I don't, know, I don't know if she the had the... judge is going to count that as an attempt or not. Yeah, we don't know if she had the chin either. From our angle. Angela moves on to take um, Eva in our in our next round, and Lauren moves on to take out Emily in our consolation bracket. Is that Dante? Man, <laughs> that's got to be the, the, the greatest uh, com compliment I've ever gotten. <laughs> uh, he had prior engagements, he couldn't make it You, you, you can say that I'm the next Dante, how about that? <laughs> we need about 15 years of development, I'll be the next Dante. That's not the King uh, Rapid Academy University. For our first quintet match, uh, Adamus only has three competitors versus Tim Canton grappling has five.
Oh, he was talking about you, Nick. You sound like Dante. Cheat sheets. Uh, on, on top we have Mike Carpenter from Adalas in Toledo, Ohio. On bottom we have uh, Danny Lauer out of Plymouth Camp. Danny Lauer, a 38 year old purple belt. Well, maybe Mike just didn't fill us out a sheet today. That's maybe okay, Mike just no. didn't fill us out, man. Sorry, right, we know enough about That's Mike. Right. I know, I know, I know that he's got a. He I know wrestled he, in Michigan. He's got uh, some heavy, he heavy top pressure. He trains with Dante. He's tough. Trains in Ann Arbor at a uh, workshop. Uh, a little bit all over. He's a really tough guy. He uh, was our main event a couple shows ago. Won our Brat Round Bell Championship. Looks like he might have a submission right off the bat already, too. It's, it's tough. Mike is a submission hunter. Which you don't uh, you don't get all the time with wrestlers, but you know, it's kind of, kind of changing now. Pretty straight. What is that, a shotgun arm lock? He's uh, uh, really good with those arm bars. We really finish him too. First half out. We had some confusion with the rules right off the bat. I was here. We had to go over to these guys, but if Mike just submits everyone himself, the rules don't matter. He's done enough. He's you know, run through everyone. That was that was beautiful. Jiu-Jitsu idol Jeff Glover there. Wouldn't be surprised to see a leg locker like Sam uh, look for a toe holds right, if he ends up on the bottom side of this again. <laughs> Sam has been training for six years. Favorite position or favorite submission is actually a straight arm walk. Watching the UFC right now, also Cody Brundage, another Michigan guy, is heading up. Mike on an uh, interesting <laughs> leg entanglement there. Maybe looking for the toe hold. Five or minutes left. Call it the toe it looks like. Ooh. Looks very tight. Wow. That was a, that was a great, that was was a great shot that. on that. That was great. <laughs> He's going right after it again, too. Sam showing that he has a gas knowledge of like box. Incredibly calm here. It looks like he's doing fine. He's right out. Wow. Same looking to wrestle up. He's got a deep single. Opposite sit. Wraps up in. I don't think he's going to break you there. Looking for an arm grab. Four minutes left here. This is a, this is a really good match. Sam's really tough. Sam Mike's staying, tough. Sam moving in the yeah. dark as well. Not getting Mike. Ooh, Mike's in a really good spot to work that arm bar. We know he loves. He's right in the north south. He's really good from here. North south of the larger competitor is Agony. Especially with someone that wrestled especially, at such a high level like as him. <laughs> I heard that his top pressure is actually terrible, and anyone that submits to it is just awful. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the record, I'm a blue belt. 
got halfway through this match here. We got three minutes, and Mike uh, definitely going. Oh, Mike has remained on top and blocked up a. He's going after that head now. You know, wrestlers are good at that. He might even look to collapse that arm and look for a dart. Instead, he wants to come over for the. One, Sam retains guard. Very bendy, roly poly, Sam is. <laughs> I showed up there and I've never seen so many people on acid in my life. Oh, absolutely. It blew my mind. Not what I was expecting. Mike's almost looking for a Peruvian. <clears throat> he might even be able to set it up. He's in a really good spot here. He might be able to finish, finish that. two minutes left if he's got a grip. And he used it to get on top. Sam entering a deep half guard here. It's a good spot for Sam. Uh, Looking at Mike's going to watch stay here. Um, Staying here long is a bad idea for Sam. As we saw in the first uh, matchup, Mike Carpenter is in all bar on the first. Sam escapes. And we are neutral. Minute and a half left. With a minute and a half anyone. left, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of rasp up here. Oh. I'll take Sam down directly into an X guard. Sam looking to invert, come up. Got one minute left here for you guys to work. Sam's in a pretty good spot if he Sam likes this. Something about Sam using Marine Corps, but his favorite submission's a straight arm lock, even though he went after those legs the whole time. <laughs> Mike entering arm lock. Falls right into it. We got five seconds left. It looks like most of these guys are going to be out. It's going to be the next guys up. Training for 10 years. 
says here, Dakota, 30-year purple belt. He's been training for six years. His favorite submission is the guillotine. He took gold at the IBJJF Indianapolis, Mogi. Says here uh, something interesting about Nick. I used to be a technicist before I moved to Ohio. No way. I wonder if it's looking good. Hmm. I'm gonna go yes. Yeah, I'm gonna take everyone at their maybe word. Maybe we should get with him for like a, like a private hip yeah. fitness. <laughs> There's a session after this. Nick aggressive on that front oh. headline. And he gets the tag. So now they're even. They're right now they are. Yep. They are one and one with an overtime. Correct. Right? They had to get two to break yep, even because yep. they're going in with three guys. Yep. So. Now, Cody here is a last minute replacement. Um, the Commonwealth. Um, you know, Jimmy trains you know, with these guys occasionally on all the bats and stuff. He's really close to them. So. I've seen Cody compete a couple of times at uh, Midwest Finishers, uh, the IBJJF. We got uh, his brother Ricky here later tonight on a super fight against uh, one of our guys, Chase from Great Lakes. So. That should be a pretty good match. These guys are both really tough. Both very, very active competitors. Cody keeping amazing pressure on uh, Nick Creighton here. Um, Nick no slouch in the leg locks though. He looks for a uh, conversion into a saddle. Cody keeping the pressure. Another in the storm. Nick not quite giving up that saddle entry yet. Cody, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Jeez. One minute in so far. Nick with that deep reverse Dela Hiva. Wouldn't be surprised to see him convert into the legs once more. Keeping great pressure on Nick, keeping him from inbreeding. Good landing to him. Scramble there, Nick immediately back to his reverse double Nick We got two minutes left here. 
Cody trying to control the head there, pressure, pushing the hand round right onto it. Like Cody's going after a head there, but Nick pops it right out. That's why we can't have nice things. You invited me here. Cody looked really solid against Nick. The last minute replacement. Cody has been up to the challenge. Yeah, Cody looks really good uh, for you know, just looking at it on paper, a blue belt going against a brown belt. Absolutely. A brown belt like Nicholas Green is uh, yeah. a very impressive competitor. Really Green, high level. Cody looking for 45 seconds on. left, though. Anything could happen. Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, Adonis needs another sub to. The lead, yep, they need one more to actually get it. Two, two, two true, just to get it. Yeah. Yeah. got 20 seconds left. Uh, we're going to have to see something big if anything's going to happen from here. Less than 10 seconds here. Is he out there? Before we fall to a decision. Oh. And that's time. Uh, wait, wait. Five o'clock at 10 for Nick Cody. This will be the draw. Both competitors will be eliminated. Beautiful work, Cody Roy. Very short notice. Yep. Yesterday afternoon. I was very uh, flattered. That you about that. Yeah, we almost made you do it. But almost made me do it. But Cody did it instead. <laughs> Up next we have ZN out of PCGA, 33-year-old ground belt. Training for about 10 years now. Favorite submission is the arm bar. See, I've rolled with him a lot. He's super tough to submit, even if you do get him with a submission. He's, he's super flexible. He's hard to choke. He's got a real small shoulder, so it's really tough to get those chokes in there on him. I'm unfamiliar with his game. I have actually had a match with Milo from the Bahamas at a Fuji tournament. How'd that go? What do you think? <laughs> I think that you smashed him, right? Uh, I was on top for a couple seconds. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good start. <laughs> when he was inverting, <laughs> looking for his blood. Milo, very seasoned competitor, uh, has made a round deep end. Some large full guards like uh, yeah, he just got his black belt very really recently. I saw that on uh, I saw that on Dante's page. He gave it, gave him his black belt recently. He's 25 years old. He's been training for 15 years. So. That's insane. He's basically the future. <laughs> Here on my page under Z, it says any accolades, and the answer is no. <laughs> I love this though. Uh, Nilo's favorite submission is a wrist lock. So shout out Pete the Greek. He's not a brown belt. Does he? Doesn't hold up quite as well. Z discovered Jiu-Jitsu by accident, it says. I'd love to hear a lot about that story. It says here on Nilos, he's never seen a cat before. Um, we're in Flint. You can look outside. There's cats everywhere, dog. Are you sure we have cats in here? Yeah, there might be cats inside. I don't know. You must have never been to the hood before, but I had cats living in my basement when I was in the hood. I didn't even know we were there. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely do not. I've only seen domesticated I, I, I come from the free lunch at the school crowd. This guy's a little soft. Nilo applying very good pressure here. Nilo obviously a much larger opponent than Z, but anything can happen before he gets left in this match. Ooh, he's in pretty deep though. It looks like he might have him. Rear face crank. He's he's in there pretty deep. It's, he's in a really bad spot here. There he goes, and we got it. Uh, Adamus moving on to the next round.
beautiful. No, it doesn't matter what the rules are because they took everyone out. Yeah, this one should be fun here. Uh, I got to tell you, no, if nothing else, uh, the Rochester Performance Gym definitely won Outfit of the Night. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Coming in with the ex-marshal uh, flock of flash guards. <laughs> I love that. First time we've seen both teams. First time we've seen both teams with the National National Team. Really yeah, good. that's cool. That's really good. Oh. Tough, you know, Shay's uh, DJJ black belt, so he's, you know he's going to come tough. Jim is a brown belt. Teaches at New Way Training Center in Shelby Township. Shay here has been training 15 years, is a black belt at 33 years old, and his favorite submission is whatever works. Typical black belt. Jim Bulmer's accolades are not in Jiu Jitsu uh, after his TKD black belt. Black belt, black belt, black belt, black belt in Taekwondo. Uh, something interesting about Jim is he's often confused with a grizzly bear. I agree. Yeah, well, it says Shay is accolades second place junior college underwater basket weaving. Wow. It's impressive. I would not, like not to. Not first, though. I'd like not first, but. Okay, B team is B team. B team is B team. Craig Jones of Underwater Basket League. Junior college, not Division One. Shea with some uh, immaculate touch review. Jim trying to stay active on bottom. Especially in this neon belly position. Ooh. Having someone to hang on you is not that's, yeah, that's, that's rough. No matter your size, if they are that big, they will hurt you. Jim clears the neon belly. Still trapped in this very, very tight side control position. Yeah. You got uh, a little over three minutes for Shea to work here. Ooh, Jim gives up the back. That's not good. Shea has one hook in. He's got the bottom hook in. Can't either. Cameraman had to take a break, so we don't have a very good. Looks like Jim's defending his back position pretty bad. A lot of hand fighting from our end. Three and a half minutes, I got the first guy in. That's 
Interesting. Uh, Veda is a DJJ school, and then uh, Shea is DJJ as well. Yeah, both of these teams are uh, formations of different gyms coming it's, together. Yeah, it's it's hard to uh, hard to get a competitive team without DJJ guys yeah, anymore absolutely. around here too. Stalling and start some, start them over and uh, guard maybe here. Kind of a sit down rule kind of deal. Yeah, we went over that in the rules meeting. They said they were going to be aggressive with it, but we haven't had a call yet tonight. I mean, thus far the setups are looking pretty aggressive. A hand fight wrestling match. Uh, kind of deal. almost 50 pounds there, that's tough. <laughs>
five seconds left in this match. So he's still got to get a submission or he's not going to get anything. I think I want to know. <laughs> Looks like you might be searching for it here. You want something here in this. In this Accolades on Rice's side. He's the second grade spelling bee runner up. Interesting thing about Price. He began bowling at age 14. For one with you, he says he's 211. It's the same size. I met him today, and he says I never asked for a super fight with him. He did. I have a bone to pick with him. Right? <laughs> I, I'll call him out. He, he, is, he is a liar. I don't want to do one. Bryce will say it now. Bryce, Bryce is a liar. <laughs> you heard it here. He definitely asked for a match. He said, "Huh? I think that'd be a good match." One day, I said, okay. Let's one, do it. One, one day, one we'll day, Tyler Hartman and Bryce Carter. Now we, now we have to. We might have to do it after the show now. <laughs> Three minutes left here. It's in a good spot. Shout out to Tessa for taking over cameraman duties when Rich disappeared. Thanks, Tessa. <laughs> Not sure what happened to Rich, but we should thank Rich. it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rich, for being the first bit. Serious pressure on Drew from the top here. He's really giving Drew a window to work yet. Two and a half minutes still. That's a lot of time with Big Bryce on there. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. That was nice. That was a good reversal. That was tough. in a great spot. It's, it's a bummer. Bobby, he has been training 13 years. He was a high school state champ wrestler. Sit. 
Ooh. A little slip over there on the side of the net. So Darren here also a UFC vet. He's uh, trained all over for 15 years. He's the owner of Michigan Top Team. Dummy sweeps, dummy sweeps. You're not surprised to see any wrestling experience here so far. Obviously, uh, Nick's very aware of the wrestling. Oh, focus. Darren going after that cannon. Yes, 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 Keeping it tight on the fly. Good It's hard to hand fight those UFC guys. And the main guys in general. Very hard to hand fight. Yes. Still big. Yeah. Give it to us, Ruth. Give it to us, Ruth. Yeah. 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 IBJJF doesn't like me. <laughs> Three and a half minutes left in this match. Both competitors are very aggressive. Wouldn't be surprised to see Nick look for the K guard here as he did in the uh, last match. Very aggressive, both competitors here. They really want this win. Smart move by Nick there to stay in guard. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a front headlock from Darren. Yes, yes, be high. Over two and a half minutes left. Uh, both competitors looking very focused, very neutral, um, yet aggressive. A lot of hand fighting. Nick still playing a really active butterfly guard. Uh, he seems very comfortable from there. Darren doesn't seem too worried. He seems very calm, very uh, focused on his own game. It's been a good match. The last very match was good. This one's good. It's been fun. That last match was a uh, bit of a shock.
We got 40 seconds left here. Both of these competitors are looking a little more aggressive as they're trying to find the sub here in the late seconds of the round. Both corners calling for some uh, Hail Mary attempts in the last few seconds, trying to snatch that last second sub. And that's time. A little draw. Up next will be. Jacob Smith, the Orioles from Can't read. Great Lakes PGA, of course. Uh, out of Rochester performance team. Been training nine years.
We got our Paige and Jessica. Yep, uh, in the consolation bracket right here. So loser's gonna go home. So let's see how how aggressive they come out here. Jessica pulls guard right off the bat. Paige trying to grab that leg and go right around. And our uh, double elimination means that the consolation bracket could compete all the way back for first place. Yeah. You can compete all the way back for first place in consolation. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That was fun. There's some tournaments that do like a true third kind of deal, but double elimination is a great way to go. Yeah. 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 Inversions. Maybe able to invert and take that. Jessica might be onto something here. Some sort of a she can uh, get her head out of there. Paige lets up the pressure. She might, uh, she might get something. Looks like Paige cleared that arm pretty well. Not completely there. Paige may be looking for an arm bar of her own. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Here's the arm and starts searching for a foot. Maybe looking for a K guard, Kandagar kind of situation because the last time I was back to Butterfly here. Looks like they're just feeling each other out a little bit, so I expect them both to be way more aggressive than the short, so like I just saw Yeah. I try to get I And that uh that quintet was wild though. Energy here is crazy. It was awesome. I'm excited for that next round. Explosive crowd on yeah. the United Nations side. Yeah, yeah, both sides. Shoot. That was a lot of fun. Paige has a look at a heel hook. Paige gets the Paige gets the finish. Wow. That's nice. The fan just going to be eliminated from the bracket. Um, Two solid matches for her, though. Yep, she had uh, two tough draws. That's just tough. I mean, you know, it's a random draw like we do. You know, we try not to play favorites even though Jessica is from here. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm not from here. I'll play favorites all day. <laughs> I actually played favorites uh, against you, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bet against myself, so jokes on you. Jokes on you, I'm gonna lay right beside you. Jokes on you, I'm actually gonna DQ myself with a flying triangle off the bat. Slam the guy. For the record, I don't mind the slam. I just don't want to replace the floor that it took us a week to build. <laughs> Don't you worry. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I I I Very impressive here. 
Neither of them want to go home yet. <laughs> Really looking for that leg sweep. They're both really aggressive. This is how I expected the last match to go, being uh, Absolutely. you know, loser goes home on this. You know, sometimes you get to that consolation bracket and you want to slow down and take a breath, yeah. and figure yourself out. Uh, you but, know what? Uh, sometimes the aggression definitely pays off. You know, this is a money bracket, the winner takes all with a buy in. So I've, uh, I've participated in one of these brackets, these the brackets, and aggression can pay off. Yeah, absolutely. And you definitely want to get that 400 bucks, you know. What can you do with 400 bucks tonight in Flint? PlayStation 5. You could probably buy six of them for $400 in Flint tonight. Yeah, if they're not real. <laughs> they'll work. Off, they came they'll off work. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They'll, they'll work. That's all that matters. <laughs> Keep going forward, Adam. Back of the truck sale. Around the Adam corner from Best Buy. Buy. <laughs> no, no serial number. Any one of those. You don't need serial yeah, numbers. It's all right. <laughs> Two minutes to oh, this match. Yeah. Nothing but aggressive wrestling here. I we had a look at the head and arm today. Yeah. Right, we've got three and a half minutes left. Uh, they're both still just hand fighting, standing up, so anything could happen here. Someone's got to get something going, though. Three minutes left here. We've got uh, Emily playing some guard. Lauren looking to pass on top right now. Emily finding that deep Della Eva hook. Reverse Della Eva. Look around. We got a pack. Every seat's full, minus one that I see right now. Someone must have hit the bathroom. Yeah. It's packed. But like always, you know, these, these shows always sell out. So remember that next time when tickets go on sale, jump onto them pretty quick. It's rare that we sell them at the door like we did tonight. You had to shoot me a warning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm on top. That's an action happening. She's almost past that guard. She can get head control here. She can, she can get a good pass. Oh. She's almost got those feet out. She's about 90% through. She just got those ankles caught right there in Lauren's guard. Good search for an underhook would have uh, remedied that. I know he has an interesting look at the back here. Lauren comes in. Emily's got to get her knee Lauren back in. Not quite past the guard yet. They're still in the end. Yeah. Going back to that arm. Emily comes Ooh. in with an arm bar attempt. It's really close. That was the, uh, the only submission attempt we've had so far, though. Yeah. I think that, that puts her in the lead a little bit. It hurts. I left like behind. Lauren's still coming for the pass. Seconds left in this match. Lauren has looked good passing, but I haven't seen many sub attempts. Emily ends up an octopus guard into an outside option K guard deal. Emily needs to be careful keeping that foot there.
down to a judge's decision. The only submission check was that arm bar, though, and they were both aggressive, so I think I, I would give it to Emily. Maybe a win for Emily for the arm bar type. Sasha's been training three times a day with those, those Taylor, killers uh, down there, world ranked guys. So. If I'm not mistaken, Taylor just placed at uh, ADCC Chicago. Did she? I believe so. If not, she was just outside. I think she was just outside. Just outside, outside of the podium, which is impressive. Like, as either it's way, like, super and impressive. Anything like that at ADCC is uh, super cool. Yeah, what's wrong with fifth place, man? I took fifth place. Out of, when it's out of four guys, that's rough. <laughs> it's 17. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't be Craig Jones, I can't be Gordon. Who always takes fourth? Who's always on the podium at IBJJF? <laughs> Tyler Hartman. With a bronze medal. <laughs> with a consolation bronze medal. <laughs> Participation trophies at the local IBJJF. <laughs> All right. Taylor Ball out of 10th Planet Grand Rapids. Sasha the Shark Reynolds out of autonomous in Toledo, Ohio. And Dante Leone and Max Hansen. All those crazy, massive names. This is fun. We love having Taylor out here because... Uh, she loves being here. That's Taylor, a good thing. If you want to come here, we definitely me. want you to come out here. I have not seen a, have not <laughs> seen awesome. a competitor in a long time that is, is as passionate about you Jitsu as Taylor. Yeah, right. and it's funny because she hasn't been training that long, you know, it's, and she's been she on host since the beginning. And it's, it's awesome. Some competitors get a little tired after a couple of years and take like a yeah. month break. She hasn't stopped. She really stop. doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't she stop at all. Moving. With her move to 10th Planet Grand Rapids, she has a Coach Jameson there. Yeah, with Ch Chili's a great guy, and any 10th planet black belt, you know, it's, you're going to get something beyond a regular black belt, oh, just in technique alone, you know, it's always fun. They go out for their Sunday open mat sometimes, but uh, can't home with any other guys. Yeah, it's, really, it's awesome, it's really we got fun. a lot of killers coming around in Michigan. Yeah. We'll be out that way next week, and we'll try to stop in out there, so it'll be fun. My cabin's out there. you got to hit get some holes in your boy. The, the cabins of Grand Rapids area. It's a little far. We'll, right, we'll see. I'll, I'll meet you soon. At 10 <laughs> and we're going to get a <laughs> Maybe we should have a super fight on those cars. Let's do it. I almost threw myself in for one tonight because we couldn't find someone. Right. Right. I don't think Kelly would like that. <laughs> she acts like I have other stuff to do tonight. <laughs> oh, looks like we had a quick finish. That was, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Didn't expect it to go that fast, but that was that was quick. She had a good bite on there and finished her. Another belly down ankle lock? Or was she looking for the heel? I think it might have been the heel. Maybe it wasn't ankle lock. I can't tell it from the like position. Belly down. Yeah, like belly down ankle lock. She just didn't get all the way Leg belly lock down yet. For Sasha, the um, but Taylor, that was her first loss. She's got another chance. Taylor's we could see uh, Sasha and Taylor in the finals. We so. could absolutely see the finals. Isn't that a replay of uh, what happened before? Did they end up in the Sasha game? beat her in the second round in the last one, and she had her in the uh, consolation round. Constantly. So this this is exciting. It might, it might be a replay. Could be a rematch. rematch. Um, you know, that's what's fun about double elimination, especially a, if you get the same person. It's always, <laughs> it's always a fun time to... Uh, overcome something and uh, beat the guy who beat you in the first round or something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, similar situation at the NCC Chicago. Uh, <laughs> <typical> loss. <laughs> Alright, 
so we got Bila coming up against Angela here. This one, uh, this one should be fun. Angela got that uh, decision victory in the last one, and so did Bila. Yep, Bela's another uh, Adamus one. Uh, she is the wife to Mike Carpenter, who okay. is on uh, the Adamus Quintet team. Uh, I believe they just got married right before our last show. Fantastic. Exciting. Angela from uh, Pearls and Grace of Grand Rapids. Both contenders are active in front of their guards, active yep. on top. And this should be fun too because they're similar in size. There's not a the huge size discrepancy, so hopefully we get a good be, uh, scrap here. Yeah. Someone's gonna be super fight by us. Quick lock ups. Bila almost looks a little more comfortable with the rest of the exchanges. Yeah, she you, you can tell uh, she's a lot more comfortable with her than she was with Emily with that huge size mm -hmm. discrepancy there. That was, that was really tough for her. But that's what happens when you sign up for an absolute. Almost had a foot sweep off the mat there. Yeah, they reset on their own without even the, the ref having to tell them. They understand. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Maybe we should put up a railing on the side or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just let them go. It's like the bumpers in the bowl. If you're going to hold on to the submission and fall off, I say let them go. Put a cage in the bowl. Let's go cage. Can do a cage. Not enough room in the back for a case. If you look at it. Not enough room in the basement either. I'll hold it on the tree. So this was a really big show for us with uh, the women's absolute filled up really quick, the quintet filled up really quick, um, and these were both ideas from people that we asked about, so if anyone out there watching has ideas of shows they want us to do, shoot me a message on Instagram, um, give me some ideas, we'll run a show if it's a good idea, like there's no reason not to. I'll take a 195 net bracket. Nope. 185? Nope. What's that? You know why? I can't buy my cash. I'll pay you. Had a lot of interest in a men's absolute. However, WXC is doing that coming up, so it's probably not going to be our next show. But looks like uh, Bila may have gotten yep. the sub with that tomorrow. I think she finished that one. Yep. That's a uh, little just under two minutes. A minute fifty-five on that one. She got that arm bar, so that that's nice. She's not killing a lot of energy. She's ready for that next round. And, uh, she will uh, see Taylor in the next round. Yeah. Her uh, uh, handle. Angela is out. That was a little. Oh, Emily, Emily. No, I'm sorry. That was. Uh, trying to go through our sheet. Winner of match here. Loser of match here. Uh, yep, she'll get Paige next. Okay. Taylor has Emily then, correct? Yep, so next up we got a super fight happening. Uh, Caleb Ragsdale and Cameron both. Both seeing? I'm not totally sure how to say that one. I'm not even going to try. I believe they're both, they both should be white belts uh, uh, or maybe fresh belt. blue belts. We should have papers, but they have not brought us the papers, so right. I'm sorry on that one. We're going to be guessing a little bit here. We got a 10 minute super fight, though. It's um, all subs legal minus heel hooks for these guys, so everything else is good. It's a white belt super fight or is kids? Uh, I believe it's a teen super fight. A teen super fight, okay. So. Everything but heel hooks Everything but heel hooks, so they can do um, knee reef, uh, toe holds. They can reef, they can do toe holds, <laughs> uh, you know, calf slicers and stuff like that. But Those are kind of the, the fun matches when you can't heel hook. They're kind of a Global quintet deal where you see a lot of toe holds, a lot of. Uh, you know, that's the that's the difference too in our quintet. We're allowing heel hooks. We haven't seen one yet. But we haven't seen a heel hook. We saw a heel hook. Uh, Nick Swift. We did. Yeah, Nick you're Swift right. Had that you're beautiful right. comeback heel hook. Uh, I believe take the lead in that one. Uh, at least tie him up. I lost the camera, I'm just gonna reset it, hold on.
here. And uh, looks like he's got his left wrist taped up, wrapped up in a brace. Uh, Tense lockups here. Caleb is a little bit taller than uh, Cameron Drew. But Cameron very aggressive with the rest of the lockups. Push pull from both competitors. So I gotta type it in again. Caleb playing heavy on the head. Cameron with a beautiful duck on here. Anaconda. Cameron scrambles out, sits out beautifully. A lot of action so far in this uh, first minute and a half. Oh, Ooh. Cameron hits the tone in. <laughs> he tried to go after him. <laughs> hit, hit the tone in. Remember, everything legal, but oh, he looks here. He's going after the, the ankle, ankle lock, but Caleb uh, applies some pretty good pressure. Keeping a good grip on it there. So Caleb's out of Dreadnought martial arts, I believe. Uh, our main event tonight, Kaina, our lightweight women's champion, is his coach there. So, okay. Uh, she, uh, she's the number one or number two ranked women's fighter in MMA in the state, has been for years now. Uh, if you follow MMA around at all, she's uh, you should be familiar with her. Our uh, bottom player here, Cameron, is uh, with Guardian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, they're out of the, yeah, somewhere out by you somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Uh, I haven't gotten the pleasure to train with the uh, Guardian team yet. Yeah, I've heard the name, so, yeah. I may be wrong. I'm, they're west of here. <laughs> <laughs> they're west of most things are. <laughs> most other states. <laughs> it's not Canada. It's usually here with butcher shop. Keeping good top pressure here on Cameron. Very long, he's able to extend him. Might be searching for the back here. Caleb postures up. Might not be the best move for the aggressive player from the bottom, Cameron. As I say that, Cameron pops up in the top position. Onto the back, off a of scramble. Cameron to the rear body lock. Oh, jumps Ooh. right in, bull hips. Oh no, just the bottom of Comes into a half guard position. Very scrappy young man. Yeah, he, both of these guys are super active. Both competitors playing very aggressive in this game. Just over six minutes left in this uh, super fight. All super fights are ten minutes. And, uh, if no submission occurs, no overtime, then we'll go to uh, excuse me, ref's decision. Great speed from Caleb. Looking like a knee read straight ankle lock attempt for Cameron, and he is deep on it. Cameron maybe looking to belly down here. Down. And Caleb gets the knee line free, which doesn't take away the straight ankle lock completely. Relieves the pressure. Cameron not giving up on the straight ankle lock. Belly and down on it. It's a very tight leg lock exchange here. Caleb capitalizes and takes the back. Full body. 
body triangle and as he swings. This match has just changed direction very quickly. Caleb has a full body triangle. He can finish this choke for me. He's not completely under the chin. Cameron doing a great job hand fighting here. Tricky guard to pass. Yeah, we got four minutes left here. It's still a lot of time to work. We'll throw in that triangle. He might have something here. Caleb throwing up a uh, triangle. Hooking the wrong way. With an arm underhook. He's got a Kimura here. And he gets Ooh. the tap with a Kimura. Looks like he tweaked uh, Cameron's shoulder there. That's not great to see. I thought I might have seen a, a little tap before uh, Cameron decided to kind of crank that. Uh. That was a very, very tight Kimura. <laughs> Never like to see it, but it's kind of part of the part of the game. Absolutely part sucks. of the game, and you hate to see it. Great work by both competitors, regardless. Uh, we got Chase Williams and Ricky Roy here, 10 minute super fight again. Um, after this, we're back into the women's bracket again. So. I feel like this match is going to be very interesting. Yeah, this could be fun. Both these guys are really tough, both aggressive. Right off the bat, uh, ref barely got a chance to hit start on the clock and they're already going after each other. And Chase is already in the back, we were only 10 seconds in. Chase in a really good spot here. Uh, super aggressive off the bat, got him, uh, got him something really good. Always just have to wait for a time. When he has his time, he just gotta take it. All right. Uh, it looks like Ricky's working to re-guard right now. He's got a knee shield in, and he's working on half guard. He's just trying to get his elbow in. 
All right, we're only a minute in. This has been a lot of action already. This has been a fun yeah, one. This is exciting. Well, now, Chase's last match on our last show wasn't exciting at all. Honestly, it was, it was really boring. His his opponent didn't even want another match to run it back. He said it wasn't worth the drive because he didn't engage him. And I would have said the same thing. Honestly, I agreed with him. So I'm glad Chase is coming out more aggressive on this one. We, we know what he's able to do. So. But at the same time, he's got to be careful because Ricky's really good. He could catch him with something if Chase is just too aggressive. Yep, that's so true. They're both very fast and technical. Yep. Ricky's still trying to regard, it looks like, or go for a sweep. Yeah, it looks like he's pretty comfortable just holding half guard right here, just buying his time, waiting to, to get an opportunity here. I think he's letting Chase run out of his energy. Yep. Trying to catch a time where he can escape. Yeah, he knows Regard. 10 minutes is a long time. Yes. We're only two minutes in. we got a lot of time left. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. going for back. Chase is going after the back. He's in a pretty good position. Chase in a really good spot. He could finish this here if he's uh, if he works that choke. He's already he's like right he's at his chin. I can't tell if he's under. Mm, up to mount. All right, we still got seven minutes left. It's only three minutes in. This has been probably the most action we've seen tonight. Other than uh, Bryce had a pretty good match. Uh, Earlier with uh, Drew, that one was really exciting. That was very well. impressive for both of them. Oh. oh, rookie looking for a sweep. Good. Chasing a nice spot here with that uh, that front headlock spot. You know, he trains with Will Vincent a lot. You know, you're going to be really good at that front headlock. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't see Will here tonight either. Oh, no. I guess no. Will's too cool to hang out with us tonight, I guess. Well, <laughs> he's just lame. Maybe I should text him right now and ask him why he's too cool to hang out with us. Yeah, yeah. Call him out. Oh. Face comes up. Walk around. He's out. All right, four minutes in here. It's been a really good match. This is fun. Ricky's good armbar attempt, but his elbow was uh, Chase's elbow was too deep. But you can see what Ricky's going after. He's just waiting for Chase to make a mistake, being aggressive here. Definitely, he has a lot of patience with that. He is amazing with his guard retention. Ricky is. That was a really good match. Caught him there at the end, but man, I could have went either way. That was they really both fun. It's so good. It was very aggressive. It was an interesting match. Kick ass, match. Chase. Woo! <laughs>
and that's Mama why we closed B. the door. <laughs> Mama B is on air, guys. Who said next is a girls' match? Well, I think we're back into the bracket again. Yeah. So we got Chase there with a nice rear naked choke. Next up, we've got Taylor Paul versus Emily Scapatisi. This one's going to be really fun. I'm excited for this match. Um, both of these girls are super good, and um, we're in the loser's bracket right now. So Emily loses. She's going home. Taylor loses. She's going home. I mean, they don't have to go home. They can hang out here with us, but they're not competing anymore. <laughs> Honestly, girls' matches are always the most interesting to me. This one I'm really excited for. They're both uh, they're both about the same size. Emily's a little bit bigger. Um, they're both been training about the same amount of time. They're both like they're both scrappers. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, they're so, both very aggressive. So, really very familiar with both of these guys. Uh, I trained with Emily a lot over at her gym at Plymouth Canton Grappling Academy. She's uh, they just her and her husband just opened a gym with John Toe. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Really fun over there. She's a lot of fun to roll with. Kyle's a lot of fun to roll with. Um, great spot and uh taylor's awesome too so both these girls both these girls i, I definitely don't i don't have a favorite in this one like, i'm excited either. for either of these yeah, two win. Like, i like both I these guys know. a lot <laughs> i think they're confused who's next I think they're confused over there on who to call out. Oh. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Are we confused? Lauren's out, right? Lauren's out. She was in the loser's bracket and then she lost to Emily. Why are they looking for Lauren? Kelly! Mike! Do you need copies of what's going on? It should be Taylor and Lauren coming up. Or uh, Taylor and, what's that? Taylor, Emily, yeah. Yeah, Taylor, Emily, and then Angela Page. Loser's bracket, and then Sasha and Vila is the, uh, I feel like Sasha the winner's Vila bracket. Gonna be a That's going to be fun, match. and they're both uh, uh, Adamas, so they yes, should probably definitely. be familiar with each other. Yeah, Kelly said that was Becky's job. <laughs> No. No, Mama B? Come on. She's too much for me to handle right now. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I think yeah. I think she gave her a nickname. I yeah. Uh, I I'll have to ask too. her what she called her. <laughs> I didn't catch it. All right. Oh, starting off. Oh, this is awesome. Aggressive really already, aggressive. For takedowns. Looks like Emily's trying to get a headlock. 
He's now, just got a body lock. This is exciting. Oh, I told go. Taylor going into this, this would be a, a good match for her to have. So I'm excited this is happening. This is going to be a very good match. Already started off amazing. Very aggressive by both of us. And it gets guard. Will's tired. Yeah. It happens. He's got a stress, very stressful job. <laughs> Looks like Taylor's gonna try from the back. She's gonna try to flip and then go. There we go. Taylor has to work for a pass now. Trying to get her arm free. Emily has a great grip on her wrist. Good guard retention. Come on, Emily. Come on, Emily. All right, we're a minute and a half into this, and this has been an exciting match so far, too. Very exciting, yes. The further we oh. go on in the night, the more exciting it is. Looks like Taylor has a headlock. Emily's trying to fight that. And Taylor is keeping the headlock. Can't see him too short. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> it is. I need like a, another cushion on top of this one. Sits into a guard there. Looks like she's going after Butterfly, but Taylor stands up and tries to pass right away. Doesn't give Emily a chance to set up Butterfly at all. All right, three and a half minutes left. This has been fun. We haven't had any submission attempts yet, so we'll see what we can like get out of this. I like these competitors go for the takedowns because a lot of our submission series have been a lot of people just sitting guard. And this is really interesting to see yeah. try for takedowns. But that's part of the rule set. I mean, if you're a guard player, you might as well just sit off, sit to your butt right off the bat and not yeah. muscle. Yeah, I, I, I agree. There's no rule against it. That's true, I agree. I think it's interesting to see the different types of takedowns. And yeah. Definitely good vibes from the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> really trying to get that back, but Emily's, uh, I think she might just be a little bit too strong for her turning around there. So if you didn't catch it earlier, uh, Emily is the silver medalist in the, uh, I, can't, I can't remember what year it was or sheets around here somewhere, but the uh, strongman competition for the whole nation. So, super impressive. We got a minute and a half left here, and still uh, really not a whole lot of submission attempts. It's been a really good back and forth match between these two. It's been fun. Taylor's got a good bite on the neck there, but Emily fights out of it. Stay on, stay on. 
Looks like Taylor's going to try to work towards the back here now. 40 seconds left in the match here. Um, this is a really good match. It's fun. Yeah, this is a really fun match. Ooh, Taylor gets past the guard, goes neon belly there. 30 seconds here. Good takedown by Taylor there again. She's had a couple good takedowns tonight. Really yes, good. That yes. first match, she had a good blast double off the bat. Yes. That's right. That was a good one. A really good snap. Yeah. Paige Landry from Commonwealth and Angela Boyer from uh, Carlson Gracie Grand Rapids. I had to remember there for a minute, sorry. Still excited over that last match. That was that was a really good match. Hopefully this one can uh, follow up being another awesome one. 30 seconds in, Paige is already attacking, trying to pass that guard, so we're off to a good start. in here we got Paige going after that guard pass Ooh, thought she was going after an arm bar but she let that go and just went after the pass Two minutes in, we got four minutes left in this match, and uh, no real submission attempts yet. It's been a uh, pretty decent match back and forth, though, still. Hard to live up to that last match, though. That was a good one. It was a really good scrap. These guys are out hard out here, I'll tell you what.
I'll tell you what, there's a whole lot of passion out there on the mats tonight. Passion, heart, and technique, put it all together. It's about what makes a champion, I'd say. Halfway through here, looks like Paige is going after a Kimura attempt. Uh, I think this is the first attempt we've had in this match, though, for a submission. Gave up on that, went for the sweep, and then Angela squashed that pretty quick. Scrambling for position here. They're not scrambling at all. They're, they're fighting for position, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the country I grew up in, that would have been defined as a scramble. <laughs> we got one more match after this one in the women's bracket. Uh, then we're jumping back into the quintet. So we got Rochester Performance against uh, Plymouth Canton Grappling Academy in this next one for uh, third place in the quintet. That, that should be a really good match. That should be a really good match up there. And directly after this match, we've got Sasha the Shark Reynolds against uh, Bila Martinez. And uh, that's a, an Adamas versus Adamas matchup in that women's bracket. So that, that should be really exciting. I'm sure they're really familiar with each other. Good pass there by Angela. Uh, not quite finished yet, but there she goes, gets by Paige there. I'll see if she can turn this into a submission attempt. A minute and a half left here. We got to get some action kind of going. Oh. Paige trying to roll into something there, but Angela was ready for it and gets her right back into uh, smashing from half guard or from uh, side control. Excuse me. Back up into neutral, one minute left. Still anyone's game. There's no uh, no one with a clear advantage here uh, on this yet, I don't think. Short time here. Gotta work for something. Work for something for the win. Short time. That was a good scrap. I don't know who I'd take as a winner there. both fighters here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have Angela versus Taylor next round in the loser's bracket. And we got Sasha and Bila coming up right now. So this, sh this should be a really fun one.
We'll get Tessa back in, in a minute when Rich comes back. Maybe he had to poop or something. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give him that time. All right. So right off the bat, Sasha sits guard. Doesn't uh, take a chance for anything. Goes right after that leg. She's in that front headlock. Sasha needs to extend her head. Extend that head and try to escape out of this. So uh, joined here with Chase Williams, big so, win there. Uh, how you feeling after that match? Feeling mm -hmm. good. I needed a uh, win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd uh, clean up what happened last time. Yeah, that's what we were saying. You know, the, the guy from the last match didn't want to run it back. He said it was a long drive to, to not get engaged, and that's what we said. We were glad you uh, came out aggressive on this one. Yeah. That was good to see. That was my goal, yeah. to be more aggressive, not sit back and think. I, I think too much in the match, which is not yeah. good. Not, not to over, it's good not to overthink. Bula working a Dars, it looks like here. I can't quite tell what it is. It's, uh, screen's froze up on me a little bit. Well, she was thinking about it. There it's working. Here we, go. we got three minutes left. We're halfway through this one. Uh, he looks like she's in uh, pretty good control here, but we've seen Sasha hit some pretty good stuff this uh, this tournament already, so we'll see what she can do. So uh, walk me through that rear naked choke you had, Chase. What, what were you thinking? Okay, so my first I attempted the first time, right, and I failed. I uh, tipped in the rear naked uh, the first time it uh, fell, right? Yep. So I'm trying to, I tried to remain calm when I got on the second time. So I'm being more aggressive on it. I'm, I, I think I beat a little too nice on my rear naked. Yeah. I don't pull a face. I'm not dirty enough. So I'm trying to be more aggressive with it. Yeah, you gotta, making, you gotta, gotta be making, mean. You're not yeah. making friends out here. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to make it at least <laughs> the most uncomfortable I can make it. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I give opponents too much respect when I go in there. So I'm trying to. Turn up that volume more. Yep. Pass attempt there by Bilo, but Sasha gets uh, both feet in there. A nice butterfly guard. That was nice. A minute and a half left in this match. This has been a really good one too. These, these girls' matches are really fun. They're they're super aggressive. They're scrappy. Yeah, they're fun to watch. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoy it myself. Yeah. Because they, they're pacing. They surprise me sometimes with how 
fast, they're pacing, and they remain calm. Yeah, girls are mean when they get out there. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, like, they talk to each other backstage and they're best friends, but like yeah. while they're out there, they hate each other. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, uh, guys can't turn that switch the same way they do. It's weird. <laughs> nah, nah, once you uh, got beef with a guy, it tends to last a very long time where it never, it never, <laughs> right. it never stops. The girls, like, they're they're mean for the five minutes they're out there, and then as soon as they're done, they're, they love each other. It's crazy. Scary. It's, it's like funny. being in a relationship with a girl. And she shows, <laughs> I mean, she gets pissed off. She shows a different side right. that she never seen before. Girls are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me like Tessa. Like a little innocent girl. Then she goes out there and she just beat me some grown women's ass. I don't know. She's, she's mean. Yeah. <laughs> you got 30 seconds left here. I'm just like we were talking about being aggressive. These two are turning it up, and getting real aggressive with this last 30 seconds here. This is fun. That's, that's usually that's how I get when I hear this last minute. I try my best to just explode as I can. Though. No yep. matter if I'm tired, I try to let the gas fall out. Time. Ooh, ran out of time. I think Bila might have almost had that heel hook. She had another 10, 15 seconds there. That was impressive. That was a fun match. So, uh, so after this, I think we've got the quintet. So we've got Rochester Performance versus uh, Plymouth Canton again. fun just like uh, the second show we did with the three-man quintet you know instead of five uh, even if you lose you know you got two two teammates plus then you yeah. know you can come back and you still win as a team so. you gotta be, got be really careful for this because when you win you stay in there yeah and there's you no gotta, time between the matches either you win you jump right back into that next match right so you really just gotta be this match should be really good I'm trained with both these guys a lot Jake goes right after that night he might have yeah, something there right off the bat that's tough yes I roll with Jake a lot he's, he helps me a lot in my matches he gets me ready for matches he's very flexible so during COVID Jake and I uh, did the basement training about three times a week in my house since nothing else was open but and then uh Z, I mean, he's he's super hard to submit. Like I said in one of his early earlier matches, you know he's got real small shoulders, so it's tough to get those chokes. He's yeah. really flexible, it's hard yeah. to finish anything, even if you catch it on him. So he's a really tough guy.
down, jumping after that neck. Z was too quick for him to get a good grip on him. Four minutes left here. Jake's going after that neck again, but not quite enough to finish anything. He's got a really nice uh, butterfly there. See if he's going to sweep or if he's going to try to go after a submission here. Hey. Really nice arm bar attempt. Jake catches his, uh, catches him. He's not gonna be able to posture up to finish anything if Jake keeps that head. He's out. Good job by Jake again there, catching that head to keep him down, but not gonna be able to keep him there. Really good defense by Jake. Oh, really good bite on that armbar now. Great job. Jake's been in pretty good control this whole time, but he hasn't really... Uh, had a submission attempt. The only submission attempt was that nice arm bar by Z there. Right. Got a good grab on him here. He might be able to sweep and turn this into something. Trying to with Jake so long, you kind of think he could get the sweep on him. So attacking that leg now, see if he can get something out of that. But Jake's defending pretty well on that too. That's a good, really good transition by Z right into that leg though when he did that. That was beautiful. Seeing Jake's is, is uh, far back on points. Uh, now Bob's more the aggressive, right? He's, yeah, he's but you have to get a submission to uh, to advance. If you don't get a submission, it doesn't matter. You're back out. Ooh. Is it for, is it for, no, he's not in there enough. Yeah. In a bad position. Five seconds left in this match, still anyone's game. We gotta get a submission to stay in. Jake's gotta get submissions in, right? Yep, yeah, either of them have to get a submission, otherwise they're both out. Oh, good reverse triangle there. See if Jake can finish this with 30 seconds left. Just kind of fell into that one. Real lucky, Jake. Yeah. This guy the first triangle? Yeah. First triangle, yeah. I don't see those that much. Oh no, you know what? His his arm's out. I thought his arm was in there. He's just got uh, got his legs on the head. He won't be able to finish anything from there. So is Jake safe right now? Yeah, they're both safe right here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good scrap by those guys. Couple submission attempts. Z had a really good arm bar for a while, but couldn't finish it on him. Uh, one of their Roy brothers. Yep, that's uh, we got Cody Roy here uh, for Plymouth Canton Grappling Academy. We got uh, everyone knows Darren Crookshank, the general for Michigan Top Team. Yeah. 
don't know much about uh, Cody Roy. I just went with his brother uh, Ricky. Yep. But I seen, I did see some of his uh, matches. Yeah, seen Cody. Uh, I mean, he's competitor. Every chance that he gets, he's always out there. If you see any kind of bracket of, of any kind, you can uh, almost guarantee you see uh, Cody or Ricky or both of them. Both scrappers, and then you know, Darren is just. Darren, everyone, everyone knows Crazy Darren, the, the general from Michigan Top Team. You know, he's uh, always down for a scrap, always down to fight or uh, roll or whatever. But, uh, I think he's technically the only white belt that we have here competing tonight. He's a white belt. <laughs> he is technically a white belt. Well, well, he doesn't be in the, He's one of those guys that don't be in the heat that much. Yeah, he's uh, uh, just a fighter. So he's probably uh, <laughs> you know, what's, you know, gi, what's his rank in Nogi. Realistically, he's probably a purple or brown belt. He's been doing this for you know 15 years, and so he's he's, he's way up there. He, he, he knows his stuff. Once a guy come in, he can either be bigger or smaller. Yeah. So it's, it's up to you to Ooh. survive it. Really good attempt by Darren there. Couldn't finish it. Cody was ready. Got 4.15 left. This has only been uh, less than two minutes into this match. It's been fun. A lot of these matches might have been scrappy like this. It's awesome. He's <laughs> ready to fight. Like, dude, you're slapping the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, really pretty evenly, uh, pretty even match here, halfway through. Shorts, he's got a scowl on the back of it or something. Yep. That's one of uh, Brandon Wilson. Yeah. Yep. Which is a uh, good school for the very good competitors, right? I haven't really been there myself. Yeah, Assembly. Really yep. Assembly's been up here for almost everything. They're not uh, competing in the quintet because uh, they're doing. They're competing next weekend. Uh, didn't want anyone to get hurt. <laughs> All right, 2.15 left, and it's still, uh, and we're just uh, neck and neck, and there's not a whole lot of submission attempts, just a uh, good, good scrappy oh. match. <laughs> People say they want to see a blast up in the car. Everybody, everybody <laughs> likes those. <laughs> Tell you right there. <laughs> that right there just burns me up every time does that to him. Man. He's bald. That's probably why he's doing it too, to try to get in his head. You know? He's bald, so he's getting, <laughs> he's getting the worst out of it. Yeah. I don't know if he'll really be able to get into Cody's head though. He's, he's, you know, yeah. he's been scrapping a long time. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Good takedown by nice, Darren. Nice, that was nice. A minute left here. Darren uh, trying to work here from the top. Ooh, 
another Peruvian attempt from Darren. This is nice, a couple. Nice. Looks slick. Oh, Cody clears that leg again, just like the last one. 40 seconds left. Yep. They just got to go hard as they can right there. Dog it out. He's got to dog it out. Yep. 20 seconds here. We're probably not going to get a submission attempt, but neither of these guys are going to quit. Yeah. Right. It is looking like they just dogging it out. <laughs> yep. Can I just <laughs> This match is Ray Cray. Cray to the A. <laughs> Tess is not allowed to talk anymore, so we've established that. So we've established we're not allowed to talk anymore. They actually love you. When I talk, though, he's not allowing me to talk anymore, so whatever. All right, so two draws right off the bat. Let's see if uh, we get anything out of this one. This should be a good match, too. This should be a fun scrap. We got enough in here. What's that? Who we got? I'm not uh, so we got Bobby Nash there uh, for Rochester Performance Gym, and we've got Dakota Brang uh, from Plymouth Camp Grappling. They're both DJJ guys. Uh, Bobby has fought in the UFC, fought for Bellator. He was a state champ wrestler. He wrestled at MSU. He's got tons of mat time. And then uh, Dakota here is a uh, purple belt under John Toth from the Canton Grappling Academy. He teaches some classes over there. He's, uh, he's a really solid guy, too. So, you know, just a bit. Both these guys are really good, but, man, it looks like Bobby might have something locked up. I just don't think he has enough to choke him. Just a crank right here. Yep, Dakota gets right out of that. They're back up to neutral. Yeah, just like I thought they should... Uh, I don't think it's going to be a quick submission for any of these guys. It should be really good scraps through all of them. These guys work right to get too high level guys. Yeah. All right, four and a half minutes here. Bobby really attacking that neck all the time, right off the bat. Yeah. You know, right now, you know, he just hasn't stopped. He's going to have to climb some out and get that uh, choking tighter. But it will be. Got Brandon in the corner giving Bobby some, uh, walking him through instructions how to finish this. Let's see if he can, uh, can do it or not. Dakota got out, yeah. Even with uh, Brandon coaching Bobby through how to do it, Dakota was listening and wouldn't let him finish it. <laughs> there you go. All right, Gator roll from Bobby. You can try to finish up that. Uh, looks like. Trying to finish that anaconda. He's almost there. He's got the arms trapped. Really good. Really tight. He might be able to finish this one. Oh, he let go of it. Wow. All right, 2.45 left here.
Just under two minutes left here. Oh wow, he's actually giving me one standing up. Ooh. Really good pass by Bobby there. See if he can get something out of this. Minute and a half left here to work. His teammates call for more self position. Been a pretty good scrap. Bobby's been in, in control, but he hasn't been able to finish anything. And that's what really matters here. 30 seconds left. So those by the throws are more submissions, or who had the more threatening submission? So we're on to number four That's here. Nice. Still even. We got big Bryce. Very aggressive. Wrestling style. Nope. Ooh, Sam right after oh, that yeah. leg though. Yeah. Sam's really good with these legs. He has it. Oh, that just like that. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> so now uh Man, that was less than twenty seconds. Wow. Well, you said yourself, you said he was good with the legs. So, Shea has to get a submission here to, to survive uh, for the next one. Okay, Shea's a black belt, right? Yep. So, he has a wrist wrestling style, too? Yep. So, Shea's got to get the submission here to get on to the next round, and then... Uh, Come on, Sam. There it is. Nice. Keep his team alive. Last double. Right to the north. He's looking for a reverse triangle, I think. Yeah. Stalling call here from the ref. Someone's got to do something. He was looking for a first triangle at first. Brother, heavy pressure on the side control. All 
right, four and a half minutes here. Shay's uh, in a pretty good spot to work. A, a big wrestling dude in psych control can be a problem. Four minutes, and uh, we're still Shay's just sitting here in uh, side control. See if we get a call from the ref to get to work. Someone's got to do something here before we get a stalling call. Halfway through here, we got Shea still just sitting on top. <laughs> got to get a submission, or his team's gonna be out though. He's got to work a little. He's got to do something here pretty soon. For arm triangle, like he was one under his arm. Some tell me he's thinking about it. <laughs> I would have called it by now myself. I don't know. You know, Shay's, Shay's just sitting there on top, just applying pressure. He's not really doing a lot of work. You know, now he's starting to work towards that arm at least, but before now he wasn't doing a whole lot the last couple of minutes. He's kind of sitting yeah. in position. You know. Won't get you that far in this style of the fight. But no. It's what we're trying to avoid completely. So. Mm -hmm. Looking just like he's going for a smother there. Oh. Hmm. A minute and a half to work here. And uh, yeah, I think Shay's just trying to get him with a smother here. It looks like he's just holding it on. It seems like he's thinking about that on triangle, but he's more trying to pressure him. I always seem weird out. You just try to go for a submission. You got the down position. Just work the submission up. One minute left to work here. He's got to. He's got to finish that smother. He's got to jump to that arm triangle. He's got to finish it here to keep his team alive. Yeah, about 50, 50 seconds to do so. Not a whole lot of time to work. As soon as I heard that, I'm locking for that the arm triangle. I'm trying to do something. Yeah. Maybe Ezekiel? 30 seconds. He's got to do something here. His team's going to be out. He's got to finish this. Sam's doing everything right. Just, just holding it away from that. Uh, uh, looks like he's going after the arm now. Yeah. I don't think Shay's got time to finish this. He took too long just trying to smother him and uh, didn't have it. Yep. Looks like Plymouth Canyon is going to take the third place in the quintet. It's a good match, but not quite enough from him. He did have a really good takedown on that, though, but yeah, he should have finished that submission. Yeah, really, he wasted too much time. Honestly, I thought he would have been successful if he uh, shot for it. Yeah, I'm. 
Honestly, the, the the refs would have probably done him a favor by calling stalling and having him reset, having Honestly, him have to work harder. Yeah. He was in that position for a while. So we got uh, Taylor Paul versus Angela Boyer coming up in this one. Uh, back to our women's bracket. Then we'll have a super fight. Uh, another match from the women's bracket and back to our quintet final. And then we're going to run it out. You know? A few matches left. So, thanks, Brett. Shout out for all the fantasy advice since he asked for one. You dickhead. <laughs> this should be a fun match. Uh, let's see, uh, right off the bat, Taylor's pretty aggressive, gets right over top. Taylor's sitting on top, uh, just a little bit of hand fighting, not a whole lot going on here. Something. She's been training at 10th Planet now. She switched gyms, so she's probably more versed with the leg attack than she was before. <laughs> she was out of New Wago. And there she goes. Yep, she was New Wago. Now 10th uh, Planet, and she got that leg attack. That was nice. Minute and a half into it. That was nice. That was really nice. Now she's going to have a rematch with Sasha again. So just like the first women's bracket, she got taken out by Sasha and met her again in the, in the consolation round. The exact same scenario this time. Let's see if she can come back and get a win this time. I don't know, because you were doing shit like that and not just watching the matches. I yeah. know, <laughs> I've seen a few of Taylor's matches outside of here. She's pretty sound. Yeah, she's super dedicated, so she's only been doing this two years, too. Pretty yeah, impressive. Same thing with Sasha. I followed her since she. Uh, since it is she working. She's not on that camera. There's not a match going on. The phone's about to die, so we don't have much longer with it. We don't have much longer with it. Yeah, there's not much longer with it. It's gonna die. Coming up next. Oh, we got the 
Wintech coming back in. All the Wintechs coming back out. searching for those legs. Two minutes in here, and uh, Tyler's on bottom. Not a whole lot going on, but it's been uh, pretty back and forth. Good night. Seven minutes left, and Mikel in full mount working pretty good here. Looks like he's in good control. This is Tyler's third competition, isn't it? Uh, I believe so, third time out here, yep.
good defense, going right after that leg. Nothing there, back up. Oh no. Jump to the back. Okay, jump right to him. Caught Tyler slipping on that uh on that takedown attempt there. He got too antsy. Mike's taking his time. Coming right around. Almost halfway through here. Finish from here, he's in a decent spot, but he's got a lot of pressure on from Mikel. Time, good pressure, good aggression. See if he can uh, finish the submission, though. That is the most important part. Isn't that's it? That's what we want to see. That's what we came here for. Let's see to finish this. Ooh. Sasha up next. Woman's absolute. Yep. Taylor and Sasha, and then we got the quintet final right after that. Followed, that's, a, that's, uh, that's the rematch of the first. Yeah. This, this yeah is, that's yep. So the same way it happened the first time. Sasha took her out. They had to meet each other in the consolation bracket. So they're going to get the same thing again. It's going to be a fun one to watch. Sasha pulls guard again right off the bat and tell where she's comfortable. You 
most people see it as a, well, some people see it as a neutral position. I actually feel more dominant in guard. I don't know about you. Depends on the opponent, I guess. <laughs> Touche, touche. <laughs> after that leg against how she got her last time. She is defending well at the moment, though. Yeah. Still a lot of time to work for both of these guys, though. So. Taylor definitely doesn't want to get submitted again. left. Taylor's uh, really applying good pressure there, trying to get uh, Sasha to turn away so she can pass. She don't want to let that leg go, does she? Nope. She could roll through, she'd be able to finish that. That's what she's trying to get to. These women have a pretty solid uh, leg attack game. Two weeks ago, I wasn't, I wasn't who I am. That's nice. It's good to hear, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I'm working on for the I'll be fine. That's one that I'll take. That's the, the gyms that I roll that I don't like. <laughs> I thought I had a couple of legs. Yeah, he had a couple of good legs, legs. He just couldn't quite finish it. Yeah, he was too, too pressured. He had armbar in the beginning. Yeah. I thought I had it. This has been a good match. Two minutes left. It's been really back and forth. Uh, we got Sasha jumping back up on top now. And Taylor reverses it right back over. And she's on top now. Nick, I just want to say thanks, bro. We're going to head out. Cool. Thanks, man. I'll be on the next one. For sure. Don't give me a Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> this has been a really good match back and forth. Uh, I think the only submission attempt was some Sasha going after those legs, though, and that wasn't much of an attempt. She didn't get the position right. This has been good. Yep. One minute left. She's got a good bite with the chin strap on there. Fish that hand a little deeper. Yep. Taylor's defending really well, though. She's got pressure down on the shoulder. Her body's across there. She's got a good angle.
30 seconds left here. Taylor's going to have to do something. And I think she's going to get the the uh, the L on this one again. Tough. S Sasha just seems to have her number so far. But, man, at least this match this match has been a scrap. We can still go either way. 15 seconds left. Sasha again, man. She just seems to have Taylor's number. That's tough. Super tough. So we get Sasha and Bila again for the women's final. If Sasha wins, we'll get a we'll get third match between those two. Bila took her out. Double the, elimination. Uh, first, yeah, double elimination. True first. So if it's uh, Bila's first loss, then she gets another one. She gets another chance. Didn't we have a similar situation the last time? We did. David Willicker uh, came from the consolation bracket and won the won the men's yeah. against a teammate, taking him out twice. That was awesome. That's why we do double elimination, though. I mean, you can get that chance. It's more fun that way. Yeah, yeah, and it makes it, it worth driving and competing. It know? does. You know, and it kind of sucks to spend money to compete just to get one match. You know, if you fight it and get taken out in 30 seconds and you know you pay your money to compete and then you come out here and then you get 30 seconds of mat time for nothing that sucks you know at least get a have one fluke and get a chance to come back in there if that happens at least you know yeah for sure we've been there and learned from competitions we've actually <laughs> been to ourselves and try to innovate and make it a little bit better yeah so again though like anyone out there listening if you have ideas for shows shoot me a message like this was an idea that someone sent me and said, hey, you know, would you do this? The last one was the same thing, just an idea someone sent me. So if you got ideas, shoot them over to me. We'll make something happen if it's a good idea. If you have terrible ideas, don't send those to me, though. <laughs> we have enough of those. I, I have enough terrible ideas on my own. I don't need help. Set coming up now here. This this uh, should be fun. Is that even charging? Yeah, it's charging. It's going up a little bit already. Thomas guys are awesome. That's, uh, that's the reason they came here with three guys. Pretty confident that they're going to win. And shit, man, I, God, my money was on them from the beginning. I think it still is. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Mike compete a couple times. And, uh, yeah, he's, I mean, anyone that can take out Aaron Chapman with a submission, not just on points or a ref's decision, is pretty impressive. I mean, he did that on a couple shows ago, so. <laughs> I do remember. Oh, that was an impressive arm bar, too. That was beautiful what he got him with.
<laughs> that was a sick transition. That was nice, man. Nothing out of it in these escape. Man, that's tough. left here. It's been a fun first uh, minute and a half here. Oh. I love to watch a good guard player. Oh, going right after that leg. He might have something on there. He's got a good bite. Wow, got it out of there. That was, I, thought, yeah. <laughs> I thought he might thought have he snuck something in there before, uh, before he noticed. All right, we got four minutes left. We're two minutes into this first match here. Four minutes, let's go. Ooh, he's going to go after that leg again. He's got him. That was a beautiful heel. Yeah. That, that, that might have just been the submission of the night. That was that that three was heel hooks, and two of them are in line for some of the night. Submissions of the night. Submissions of the night. <laughs> if you get five submissions in a row, I automatically give you the 50 bucks and then double. For sure. Holy shit. Without question. <laughs> I, I don't even think twice. I just walk out there and give it to you right now. <laughs> as soon as your hands are raised, we don't even wait you. till the end of the show. You just get it. No need. If someone beats that, then I'll give them more money. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I got another 50 for you, too. <laughs> Four and a half minutes left here. He's uh, Neil's still looking pretty good. Four 
four minutes left. He's in another good spot, man. He might get another submission. Come on, pretty well considering we got a submission specialist in front of them yeah <laughs> left here in this match. You gotta think Milo's gotta be getting tired too. Oh yeah. Well three guys I don't know about that. that, that second, second one, one was really quick. quick. <laughs> Attempt by Drew here. He's got uh, he got by him now. Let's see if he can get anything done with this. He's got a minute 45 left to work, and he's got a pretty good position here. Yeah, his pressure is pretty solid right there on the shoulders and the head. No. Can't see how deep that hand is. Uh, it doesn't look like it's quite enough, but he's still in a good position. There you go. Got a good chin strike. Oh, ooh, back into guard. You know he likes this spot. Oh, oh, one after the leg. Very nice. Ooh. Stay patient. You've got a minute to work. A minute and 12 seconds to work. And let's get our knee between. We got this. We got this. One minute, Drew. One minute here. So, uh, Neil's in a pretty good spot. Oh, oh nice. let go of his leg. He got out of there. Sometimes that sweat doesn't play in the favorite tough. We got 45 seconds left here. This has been a really good one. You guys are both super tough. Drew back on the neck again. That front headlock. Oh, back into guard though. Neil is really good at recovering that guard every time they transition. Yeah, his guard great at that. Off the chart. Fifteen seconds left. Looks like we're gonna get through this match without a submission. We have to work fast. Ooh, he's in a good spot, but there's not enough time. Tap, but there was three seconds left. We're, we weren't getting any tap on that. We know it was a draw. So I think that's what both competitors said. They're, they're well aware of what was happening with three seconds left. So. Straight back into the next match. Let's see how this one goes. We don't take any breaks in the quintet. Nope. 
two competitors left for each team, so it really just comes down to if someone can get a submission, you know? He's got a really good bite on that heel. He might be able to get a nice ankle lock there. He's in a really good spot. That's nasty. He's got him. I think he's going to finish it there. Oh, man. He's got that in deep. I heard something pop. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, was it just the tap? Okay. Whew. Wow. That was nice. Mike Carpenter sitting back there looking pretty relaxed, like he might not have to go here. <laughs> he, 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 that big grin on his face, it looks like. He's feeling really good about relaxing the rest of the night and collecting his money. Nick takes out Jim for him. He's gonna be yeah, really he's going to be super happy, yeah. <laughs> collecting money with only having to do, uh, what was it, two matches earlier? That's nice. <laughs> Jim's in a really good spot, though. He's a big boy to be on top of you. And there's uh, five and a half minutes of 230-some pounds on top of you. So I know. I waited. That's, that's tough. <laughs> He's got a good knee shield in there, though. It's uh, really hard to finish something if you got that knee shield in there. And Nick's in a pretty good spot, too. And his guard has looked pretty solid. Yeah, he, he looked really good earlier. Yeah. Looked like he's trying to work that deep half guard. Oh. Jim's weight's just a little bit too much for him to get underneath him to work anything from deep half, it looks like. Yeah, he's going to have to figure out a way to unlock that leg. Yep. Guard might not have been the best idea for him, but you never know. He might be able to still catch a leg and finish something. Looked like he might have had an opportunity if he didn't want heavy. Shifted his hips, yeah. pulled that knee clear. Got his knee clear. He seems to finish sliding the rest of the leg through. Nick ain't letting him have an inch. No, there's still three and a half minutes left, so anything could happen still. But, and Jim's, uh, it's a lot of weight to be on top of you. Two and a half, to two, more. two plus minutes of him being right on top of you, smashing is is tough. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna need to apply some more pressure onto the chest and his lower lung there. He's not in a compromised spot right now. I'd be, I'd be, I'd feel comfortable if I was in Nick's spot, regaining my composure. Yeah. Three minutes left here. I don't like to be there. <laughs> Once again, like you said, have a guy like Jim on top of you like that. Yep. Two minutes feels like ten. It's a very long time to get smashed. He's just working on his neck the whole time, too. It's super uncomfortable.
step out of that. there too long. Seconds left here. Twenty two. <laughs> Getting smashed by two hundred and thirty pounds for six minutes. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> Sounds like my last Sunday. Oh, nice transition to arm bar. So we got to see uh, Mike get a submission here, so we're going into overtime. Overtime, we saw the first two matches, though. I mean, if they go into overtime, I think that Amos has this. <laughs> oh, he's out, yeah. They have three submissions. He's out because he, there was no submission, so the Damas, yeah. So Mike, uh, Mike doesn't have to compete. He is real. We need to make him an ice bath over there. Yeah. One, two, three, Adams. Two more super fights. been on here a couple times has commentated with me before and Josh has been on once I believe before he was on the 313 the three man quintet that we did and uh, right off the bat he goes into guard and grows after that arm so Josh just won master worlds pretty recently so he's got a gold medal of worlds uh, he's coming fresh off of that I think this is his first competition since then when was that one uh, just a couple weeks ago, it was the most recent, yeah. Master Worlds. Yep. Is that Chicago? No idea. <laughs> no, Vegas, I believe. Vegas. Yep. I've rolled both of these guys a few times. Josh, uh, he really likes the guard. He's a tough, tough guy to break his guard. If he doesn't want you to get out of there, you're not going to. Looks like he likes his guard. Yep. 
But Dinaj is tough, you know, he's, he's been training a long time too. He's not going to give anything up, that's for sure. Yeah, either one of these guys aren't giving up much. They're going to have to fight for every inch they take. This is exciting getting the gi match on here too. Most guys don't want to compete in the gi anymore. Both these guys were all for it. They didn't care either way. So. More traditional. This would be fun. Well, this is the first gi match we've had, isn't it? Uh, on this show it is. We had the battle for the blue with all gi. Oh, you're right. You're right. So this is the first super fight you can I believe so, yeah. You definitely have to play a little bit, a little bit of a different game with and without the game. Yeah, especially if uh, your game is attacking legs. <laughs> But I mean, the only thing they can't do is heel hooks. You can still attack legs. You just finish him with the knee bar instead, I guess. Yeah, he's the he's the one that runs three one three north. Him yeah, and Torin. Yep. That's what I thought. That's what yep. I thought. Yep. Another one of uh, Fabio's guys from from three one three, a Marcelo Garcia guy. And they're up in Traverse City, right? Yep. Three one three North Traverse City. Yep. So thanks for uh, making the drive all the way down here from Traverse City. I know Josh comes down almost every other weekend, though. He's uh, he's always coming down just to train, get some, see his friends, everything like that. He's from this area, so. Yeah, I've heard, heard good things about their facility up there. Yeah, everyone that I've talked to has uh, said really good things about there. I've never been up there myself, but I'll have to drop in sometime for sure. Clears his head out of that. We got six minutes left to work. Tried to fall back into an ankle lock. Oh. He's got a good bite on it, but he's uh, cleared of Mike's leg, so I don't think he's going to be able to do much with it. Josh might have something here. He's got five minutes to work. He's in a pretty good spot. If he can clear that leg. Yep.
fast, Mark. It's fast, Mark. <laughs> All right, we got four minutes left here. This has been a really good back and forth match, too. Yeah, we've had quite a few good ones tonight. Yeah, this has been a back and forth. I really expect Jeff to try to throw up a triangle here. He was in a pretty good spot there for a second. on that toe hold. minutes left here. I think uh, they're about the same amount of submission attempts from both guys. <laughs> Good bite on that ankle lock here. One thing I've noticed with those ankle locks on most everybody, they're not bringing the blade of their forearm up. No. There are tons of ankle locks tonight, though. I think I've seen more tonight than I've seen in any submission series competition yet. Yeah, definitely. Trying to zoom in, but it doesn't zoom. Yeah. You gotta set up a different setting to that. No different cameras next time. That knee bar. You know, it's open for a second. This is a pretty good back and forth match between these guys. It's tough. That oh, was a good match.
guess who's back? As long as it's not Charles, we're fine. <laughs> What did Charles do? He said about four words when I had him come commentate oh with me, goodness. but that's all right. Charles is just lame. Rich disappeared. I had to have someone talk, and yep. Charles was the first one that made eye contact with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got our women's right. final coming up here. We got Vila Martinez and Sasha the Shark Reynolds. So Sasha's coming out of the consolation bracket. If she wins, we're going to be able to have one more match between these two and run it back. It's a double elimination. So. This match was very good. Oh, this is nice to see. Uh, it's cool seeing teammates in the finals too. Like Honestly. last time we had uh, assembly in the finals for the men's uh, welterweight. Now this time we got yes. uh, Adamus in there for for the women's absolute. So. Really cool, and it's also really cool. This is something that stands out to me: is these are two of the smaller girls in the bracket, and they're in the finals. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. That's, that's exciting. I mean, she just shows you know how technical, how good these two are. Yes. So. Yes. Honestly, Charles would seem like more talkative. I thought he would be more talkative. I thought he would have too. That's why I asked him. Because Josh didn't look at me. I should have grabbed Josh. <laughs> I'll remember that next time, yeah. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so just over a minute into this, and Bula's in a pretty good spot to work here. Five minutes left, uh, tons of time to win that 400 bucks. Yeah, she was in the spot last time, too. Yeah. Four and a half minutes left. Uh, nothing has changed from 30 seconds ago. She's still just trying to smash in that same top position, waiting to get a good spot to move past. She's very good at maintaining and controlling Sasha yep. in this position. Yeah, she's really, uh, she's she's really calm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable in this position. She has a lot of patience. She's just sitting here waiting for Sasha yes. to make a bad move yes. to get out of there. But at the same time, Sasha's got a pretty good butterfly guard in there. Yes, and, uh, that's true. Looks like she's working okay. Sasha's very she's good lost, with legs. lost that butterfly guard now. <laughs> as soon as I say it, it's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, 3.45 left to work, and Vila's still just smashing. She's got that arm across and just crushing, waiting to slowly pass that guard. did in the first one. She's just yeah. crushing from that position. Very top dominant. So far, the audience has been like totally a vibe. They have been sharing and sharing, and honestly, I love it so much. Think about it tilt in the opposite direction. I don't care about that half side of the point. Tilt everything, everything to the left. Get the elbow, get the elbow. It's almost right. Two minutes here, she's almost through. She's got the Sasha's still got that ankle of Vila though. She can't get all the way past. It. I feel like it's not affecting Vila as much at all. As whatever. There we go, She's doing very good at controlling Sasha. Hitch your thighs and then tilt them to the opposite direction your legs are facing. There you go, like that. That's it, that's it. That's it. Minute and a 
half left, and same thing, man. Bilo's just crushing her with that top pressure. Did she get passed now? Nope, she's still in there. Uh, yep, we've got our main event with Kaina and Ashley. Forty-five seconds. I like the way that Bill is controlling. I like the how she. She's like a. It just reminds me of a boa constrictor. She just grabs that and just keeps squeezing until she gets to the position she wants. She's yeah. done it for five minutes straight. Yeah. She's very patient. Bila and Mike both want some money. Yes. <laughs> Who's taking you out tonight? All right, we got one match left. Uh, kind of the sensation system. And Ashley Calderon. That took a minute to say. I had to find my sheet and remember their names. Oh, oh <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know, like the the channels that everyone has, like the, the, the like you know YouTubers and stuff. I feel, I feel like I'm one of those people. I feel so like, wow. I feel like somebody. <laughs> I'm kidding. I feel so important. <laughs> Kelly forgot there was one more. <laughs> oh, did you? Alright, we got our main event coming up now. The women's lightweight championship. See if Kaina can defend her title. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Quick. There we go. Like I 
I said, I love the waking up bikes. All right. Uh, that was it for tonight. Again, like I've said a couple times tonight, if you guys have ideas for what we should do on the next show, shoot me a message. Good ideas are something we will definitely use. Bad ideas, I have enough of my own. So. Thanks, man. Bye-bye, y'all.